Hi friends, welcome to GPSTR CTT channel. Friends, in this video we are discussing class 12th chemistry annual exam Karnataka board MCQs in detail. So first question, which kind of defects is introduced in doping intrinsic semiconductors? Four options are given. In that for this answer is electronic defect. As you can see the different types of defects, I will explain only the main part when electronic defense are, defects are created. First for that we have to know what is doping. Doping is nothing but it's a process of adding impurities to the intrinsic semiconductor. Why means to increase the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductors. So during doping with an impurity to electron rich or electron deficient as compared to intrinsic semiconductors silicon or germanium such impurities they will create electronic defects for this i have also mentioned ncrt in chapter 1 phase number 27 first para you can see so next question is a binary liquid mixture that forms maximum boiling azeotrope at a specific composition four options are given for this nitric acid plus water is the answer first we have to know what is azeotrope azeotrope is a mixture of liquids that shows the same concentration in vapor phase and liquid phase first there are two types of azeotrope that is maximum boiling and minimum boiling for maximum boiling the the solution that show large negative deviation from Rolle's law they form maximum boiling point my maximum boiling azeotropes and uh, the solution that show large positive deviation from Rolle's law they form minimum boiling azeotropes at specific composition for that example is ethanol and water but remaining option B and C this option B and C that or ideal solution they don't have any deviations from Rolle's law only solutions they have uh, deviations there they only form maximum boiling or minimum boiling but option B and C they are they are not uh, they are uh, ideal so they don't have any deviations so answer is option D nitric acid and uh, water then the value of Wanthoff factor for ethanoic acid in benzene nearly it is for this uh, po answer is 0.5 first we have to know what is Wanthoff factor it accounts for extent of dissociation or association if I is less than 1 for association is greater than for 1 for dissociation it is nearly equal to 2 for aqueous KCl solution and I equal to 1 for solute that does not dissociate into ions first we have to know in acetic acid here we form a dimer with it form dimer with benzene because of a hydrogen bonding because the benzene solvent it will have low dielectric constant so for this answer for this answer is uh, 0.5 and I will show you uh, you can see afterwards I equal to 0.5 I don't explain you just uh, see you will get idea Next, on charging lead storage battery, lead sulfate on cathode is converted into. First, for that, we, we need to know at cathode and other anode what will happen during discharging and charging. They have asked for charging. So, discharging is the reverse of charging. They have asked at cathode what will happen. At cathode, lead sulfate is reduced to lead oxide, that is PbO2. So, answer for this answer is. PbO2 and then fifth question in the Arrhenius equation the factor e raised to minus e by rt corresponds to for this I have explained here you can see that for this answer is the fraction of molecules with kinetic energy greater than activation energy then next question which of the following is not applicable to the phenomenon of adsorption for adsorption there should be decrease in entropy enthalpy and gives free energy that means it should be negative here delta H is for positive that is not applicable for adsorption so next question 
What is the role of NaCN in the separation of zinc sulfide and lead sulfide by froth flotation method? For this answer, NaCN is it acts as a diffracent. I have uh, uh, explained uh, what are the role different diffracent that means while separating sulfide ores by separating two sulfide ores just we do by adjusting proportion of oil to water the dispersant means it selectively prevents zinc sulfide from coming to froth but allows lead sulfide to come with froth so answer is depressant so remaining you can see that next on complete hydrolysis xcf6 with water product formed is xco3 i have written for partial hydrolysis what will happen for complete hydrolysis what will happen so answer is xco3 then next question is which of the following elements is not regarded as a transition element first you have to know what is transition element transition element is one whose atom or ion contains incompletely filled d orbitals for so here zinc is having completely filled d orbitals therefore it is not a transition element remaining three options they are incompletely filled therefore they are called as transition elements i have mentioned all the in which phase it comes next metal carbon bond in metal carbonyls possess both sigma and pi character so for that i have given explanation metal to carbon bond sigma bond is formed donation of uh, this lone pair of uh, electrons of carbonyl group into vacant d orbitals of this metal then phi orbitals is uh, m metal to carbon phi bond is formed by the donation of a uh, pair of uh, electrons from a filled d orbitals to the empty or anti bonding phi star orbitals of the carbon monoxide next question identify the chiral molecule in the following compounds so for this answer is 2 bromo butane is a chiral molecule so chiral means object which are non superimposable on the mirror images like pair of hands if you keep on one hand another hand that is they are non superimposable but to get to avoid confusion one hint that is we have to find the asymmetric carbon atom asymmetric carbon atom is nothing but a, a carbon is tetra hydrally attached to four different groups that is called as a asymmetric carbon i will give you all the explanation for two bromo butane here you are having asymmetric carbon atom because it is bonded to four different groups therefore it is a chiral molecule for remaining b c d and options we don't have any asymmetric carbon means uh, each carbon is not bonded to four different he for the here this carbon is bonded to same here also two same therefore it is not having any asymmetric carbon likewise option b and c they don't have asymmetric carbon atom therefore they are a chiral but for remain first option it is a chiral molecule because it's having asymmetric carbon atom so next question uh, when sodium methoxide reacts with the uh, ch3 thrice cbr it gives exclusively it is 2 methyl propane here we are seeing elimination reaction here sodium uh, methoxide it acts as a base so it forms a uh, elimination reaction it forms 2 methyl propane next iodo form reaction with the uh, sodium hypoiodide which can used in the detection of compounds for this uh, the answer is acetaldehyde so this for that explanation is that iodo form iodo form reaction with sodium hypoiodide used for detection of uh, methyl carbonyl group which produces uh, ch3co group on oxidation for this explanation is that answer is acetaldehyde so for this explanation i have easily written so that you will understand next nitration of aniline in strongly acidic medium at 280 kelvin which yields all three ortho meta para nitro anilines see here on nitration to this aniline will get all three para meta and ortho 
nitroanilines which type of hormone is iodinated derivative of amino acid tyrosine so tyrosine this amino acid on iodination it forms a thyroxine hormone so answer is thyroxine friends i hope you understood please subscribe to my channel gps star ctt thank you friends